everyone, I'm Ace with Clay and welcome to another sculpting video, or should I say sculpting challenge video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture and this week I am going to make a sculpture from start to finish in only four hours. I know four hours kind of sounds like a lot, but in sculpting time it's really nothing. So continuing the concept from my video last week where I turned Belle from Beauty and the Beast into this horrible monster, I'm going to turn sweet innocent Ariel from The Little Mermaid into to a horrific monster mermaid. So like I said, in this video, I only have four hours to assemble the entire sculpture from start to finish. From the second, the first piece of armature wire is bent all the way to the last stroke of paint. That can only take me four hours. Now let's see if I can do it after you hit like and subscribe. All right, let's start the time. All right, let's get this challenge started. So I've given myself four hours to complete this sculpture, which isn't a lot of time. I've broken down the sculpting process into seven different segments where I fully complete a section of the sculpture. I will be counting all the time I am physically assembling the sculpture and painting it, not the time it takes to bake in the oven or the time it takes for me to condition the clay before I use it. So what do you say? Do you think I can do it? Let's see. As you can see, I'm already started and I'm already nervous. Instead of going crazy and slapping things together as quickly as possible, I'm pacing myself and working at a speed similar to what I normally do. This isn't going to be a super fancy sculpture, but I do want to add some special elements. I don't want to just do the bare minimum. So this armature went by fairly quickly. I don't think it's going to put much of a dent in my total working time. I've made so many armatures in the past, I could probably make them with my eyes closed. Do I sense another challenge? Let's go ahead and work out the tail and get this thing in the oven without using up any more of that precious time. All right, the armature is done and it took a total of 16 minutes, giving me 224 minutes or 3.73 hours for the rest of the sculpture. Once the armature is baked, it's time to start sculpting. I jumped right from adding the clay to assembling all of the base details in this next segment. Now I'm going to quickly add the clay for her arms and get a nice base structure figured out and then I can start adding all of the smaller details. Now when I'm not timing myself, aside from the final detailing stage, this stage usually takes me the longest. You have to make sure all your proportions are correct and your surface is smooth because once you start adding all the little details, this part is pretty hard to make any changes to. Now at this point, I'm realizing she looks kind of wonky, but she still looks like a mermaid and we're on a time constraint, so we gotta keep going. Segment number two is complete. It took me 25 minutes to get all the clay on and get the base surface ready for external details. This leaves me with 199 minutes or 3.32 hours, which isn't bad because I'm not even at an hour yet. All right, now it's time to start adding all the details to our base. I'm gonna start with her little bra seashell things and then start detailing her abdomen and tail. For the tail, I knew I wanted to add some texture to it, but I needed to make sure I did something that wasn't going to take up a lot of time. Normally for a big tail like this, I could easily spend four hours alone adding details to it. But this is a challenge and we're gonna keep going. I settled on this idea where I scattered a bunch of jagged bumps throughout the tail and then I finished it off by rolling my gnarly rubber shaper handle that's caked with old clay on it. That's kind of gross, I should really watch that, but it does make a good texture. Alright, now my big fat base needs a quick texture, and what better way to add a quick texture than to roll a ball of aluminum foil on it? Super easy and super effective. All 
All right, now let's finish up these details and move on to the next segment. With the exception of her hands, Scariel's body is pretty much done. This segment took 31 minutes, leaving me with 168 minutes or 2.8 hours to complete the rest of the sculpt. Okay, let's start segment 4 where I'm going to sculpt her head from start to finish. The head of a character is usually one of the steps that takes me the longest. Typically I can knock out a good quality head in 45 minutes to an hour depending. For this one though, we don't have that kind of time. I'm going to go with a freaky, fish-like face and make her otherworldly. I'm hoping that all the creative liberties and gray area I have with the face will save me some time because I can do whatever I want. The hardest part of this process for me was not being able to scrap something and start over. I had to do everything right the first time, whether I liked it or not. If this were a normal video, I think she would look way different. Another thing that sucked was my hands kept shaking because I was trying to go a little faster than usual, especially towards the end. Now we're going to take a quick break from our challenge and talk about our sponsor. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Mental health is so important. I know that it is a regular struggle for me and it is especially important when it comes to being a content creator and having to come up with a new sculpture to make for the world to see every week. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you expect from in-office therapy but with a therapist that is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. If all of this sounds good and you're ready to start taking steps to better your mental health, go to betterhelp.com slash aceofclay. That's better H-E-L-P and you'll save 10% on your first month. I have them linked for you below in the description. Thanks again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. Now back to our sculpture. All right, now let's finish up that face and get the head attached to the body as fast as possible. All right, I'm counting the time it took to crumple the ball of foil for her head to when I attached it to her neck as segment four. This took me 33 minutes, leaving me with 135 minutes or 2.25 hours. On to the next segment. Okay, segment number five is what I like to call the final detail stage. This is when everything comes together and it's hands down the longest step in my sculpting process every time. This step could honestly last for days if I let it because there's always gonna be something to nitpick and adjust. We're gonna start by adding a couple more details to her face, make me like it more, and then slap on her fin to hopefully make it look like her tail's not growing out of the ground. Then we're gonna work on her hands with some cosplay. Using cosplay for the hands is gonna save me time because due to its flexibility once cured, I don't have to put armature in all her fingers. After popping on her hands, I can honestly say that I hate this sculpture and I might even smash it with a mallet later, but this is a challenge and I have to look at it through those goggles. Just want to make myself feel better here by making her shoulders bonier and slicking the surface with some clay softener in the hopes she looks better, but it ended up being a waste of time because she still looks like me. <laughs> 
And then because I'm going too fast, I forgot to add the armature for her hair. I'm going to make these a bunch of floaty underwater flyaways. Adding this after the clay softener wasn't the most enjoyable process ever, let's just say. Okay, the finishing details like her hands, the extra pieces I added to her face, adding the wire armature for her hair, and the final brushing of clay softener brings me to the end of segment 5. This took me a total of 40 minutes, leaving me with 95 minutes for the rest of the sculpture, or 1.58 hours, which is about an hour and 25 minutes, so it's crunch time. Alright, now let's start segment 6. I really didn't think her hair through, I just thought I was going to magically sculpt it out of a chunk of clay somehow, but it would have been way too thick and I don't want any oven casualties. So, I opted to make the base of it out of ultralight because you can use it in thick chunks and it's more manageable than aluminum foil. I slapped this on as quickly as possible, paying little attention to the final shape. After baking her, I'm haphazardly adding a bunch of cosplay to cover my ultralight. No idea why I used cosplay for this, I only need the flyaways to be flexible, but hey, I'm going fast and I have ADHD. This next step was super time consuming and it really stressed me out. I'm going all over my bumpy cosplay to add all these little lines with my explorer tool. I would rather eat grass than do this. Dirty grass. Dirty wet grass. All right, now I'm starting to get nervous. I'm slapping on those flyaways and to save time, I'm just adding them to the front of the wire. And at this point, I can't be worried about what the back of her looks like. That's what editing's for. <laughs> From the second the first piece of ultralight is applied to her hair to the last crazy flyaway chunk, I'm counting that as segment six, which took me a whopping 41 minutes, which I didn't love. This only leaves me with 54 minutes to completely paint her. Do you think I can do it? All right, 54 minutes left, I can do this. I'm using my Warhammer paints because the coverage is just oh so good and I can get away with only one coat of everything without her looking too crappy. And since she looks absolutely nothing like Ariel, I'm gonna make up for this by painting her in Ariel's color scheme. Some purple, some green, that bright red hair, the whole shebang. And when I say Warhammer paints are one coat, look at that. Basically, full coverage, and I'm painting like a first grader. After the base coat's on, I'm gonna go in with some antiquing, a nice dark brown wash. This always makes your scary sculptures look better. And I guess it kind of worked on Scariel. Really wanna get into all those beautiful, well thought out details. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to panic. I gotta get all these tiny pieces painted and it always takes forever to do those because you have to use a tiny brush and go real slow. I'm not trying to make her look worse than she already does though. All right, let's paint that bikini top and her hair. There we go, now she looks just like Ariel. <laughs> I'm sorry, this cracks me up. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in and <laughs> add a dark wash to her hair. Just, you know, why not? Let's paint that tail. <laughs> I'm sorry about the sculpture, I really am. Now let's paint that base like we're wearing a blindfold. And to finish her off, I thought it would be a nice touch to just add some color shifting metallics to her. And just like that, that's the final brush stroke right here. And time. How do you think I did? Believe it or not, I finished painting her in 52 minutes with eight minutes to spare. Granted, it's not my best paint job ever, but I think it gets the point across. My total working time on this sculpture was three hours and 52 minutes. So if you're wondering if I can sculpt something in four hours, the 
answer is yes. Is it good? No, but I digress. Now, say it with me. And she's done. She is done. <laughs> Let me know what you think of her in the comments. this thing I hate this thing so much but I have to remember this was a challenge I only had four hours to make her and I guess it's not bad for only having that amount of time but I mean this thing this thing is a mess I want to throw it out the window like what what <laughs> it's horrible look at her come on I feel like this would have been a really fun sculpture had I not challenged myself with the time constraints but that's okay. If you want me to make a serious version of Scary Ariel or Scarial, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want me to continue this Disney Princess series, if you want to see more challenges, if you want to see if I can sculpt something in three hours instead of four. If you really want to torture me, say you want that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Scariel. Nobody likes you.